I learned cooking way back when I was in college because I always found it very fascinating. But I used to be in the hostel, so I never got a chance to cook till I got home. And whenever I would eat anything, I would want to try it out. In those days, we didn't have an access to internet, TV. What always appealed to me was the lovely photographs in the magazines which I always wanted to replicate and I once remember a long time back there were some pictures of scotch decks which they had shaped like little ducks. I found it so fascinating. Since then I've been wanting to do something which would be attractive and uh, would be very very presentable and that's when I started cooking and really took interest. Well, today I'm making something which part of it has come from the family and part of it is something which I modernized. Everybody knows about the lovely gourds, that is the jaggery that you get in uh, Calcutta. It comes only during winter and the flavour is so strong and nice. My mother-in-law would, and so would my mother, make lovely desserts out of these jaggeries like thickened milk with rice and, and even make little pancakes with jaggery. They were so yummy. I used to love eating them. Then when I used to give it to my children, they were not very happy with it. They weren't they were okay, they were not excited and I would think, my God, this is so tasty, why aren't they developing a taste for this? And then I thought, let me modernize it a bit and see if they like it. A dessert which is partly Indian and partly taken from the Western mousse and without eggs, of course. You have to start with soaking the gur. Cut them into small bits and soak it. It mixes well with the water. You have to keep cooking it till the gur is totally melted and it comes to a consistency where it's little sticky. It takes a while but the, getting the consistency right is the most important thing. So this is the consistency you need. We need to soak a bit of gelatin which is about a tablespoon of gelatin in warm water. After that we start adding all the other ingredients. First I'll take the thickened milk, hung curd, the thickened curd. The cream is totally optional, you don't have to add the whole thing, you add just as much as you want. To sweeten it we'll need the jaggery. We can add the uh, liquid jaggery as well to give it a nice colour. Now the dish is ready, all that we have to do is top it up with melted jaggery. You can put it back in the fridge for 2 minutes for it to settle down well. I definitely don't want these recipes to get lost. I would be very happy that even if it's not in the family, if it's Anybody who's interested in cooking can, wants to learn it, I'm more than happy because everything is knowledge and knowledge is for sharing. Yeah.